All right, today we are making these side pipes work. We're gonna put them on the car, we're gonna hear out sounds. You know, we ran it open headers and it was quite loud. So these side pipes already have mufflers in them. Uh, they're not completely rusted through, at least I don't think so. Let's see how they sound um, and then make a judgment call based off of you know, how the sound is. Maybe I need to get mufflers you know, quieter or maybe louder, we'll see. But if you remember from the last video, we kind of had to beat this up quite a bit. Now, since then, I've come back and I took a hammer and I tried to straighten as much as I could. My plan is to straighten this back out just by hitting it. Probably going to zip these tabs off and put a clamp on. And, you know, the clamp will cover right here. If I, if I want to put some side pipe covers on here so I don't burn my legs, you know, that clamp's going to get hidden up. So, I don't know. But, I don't know if this will be a permanent thing. More than likely not. But for the meantime, we'll at least get to put these side pipes on and hear how the car sounds with side pipes that have mufflers in them. So, that's the process. Um, just going to take you along for the ride of making metal that's no longer circular, circular. <laughs> okay, we got a couple things we gotta do. In order to slide the, slide the side pipes on, you know, if we have any chance to slide it on at all, I need to remove this rocker panel. So I already removed the other side in the last video, so I gotta do the same thing to this, um, which means it's Phillips head screws. Some of them had nuts on the back. Usually the ones on the end have the nuts on the back. They're pretty much all just seized and stripped, so I'm probably going to have to drill them all out. So, just going to get started on that. Alright, I got the rocker panel off, driver's side. Uh, of course, had to drill out all but two screws. Um, no problem, though. Uh, at least now, I can address the rocker panels and then put in new hardware and never have this problem again. I started fitting up this side pipe. Um, I actually got it pretty decent. Um, so it slid on. It's definitely a lot bigger than it needs to be, the opening. Um, but it's going to be good enough to at least hear how this muffler system sounds. And, you know, it'll give me a good idea whether the muffler in here is salvageable and I should continue this plan or I should just buy new side pipes and mufflers. Um, yeah, so you'll see the process of how I'm doing it. It's a little easier on this side since, like I said, this opening is a little bigger than it normally would be. But... Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> you can take the rear wheel off, and if you have a block of wood, put it on the end and then hit it with your hit hit it with a hammer, and that will kind of help push it in. But it's a fight.
That was quiet. <laughs> okay, so as you heard, this is really quiet, like unbelievably quiet. So this has to be the reverse flow side pipe mufflers, um, the, the quietest ones. You know, they're not that great for power. They bit restrictive, but I mean, I wouldn't notice it because I don't have anything to go off of. And so I think I'm okay with this. I'm gonna run it as is for a while. I mean, like a year or two. And then eventually down the road, um, when I'm all set up and you know more comfortable and, and I'm diving into the engine and I'm doing all my other plans that I have for this car, I think that's when I'll take out the, um, I'll get different side pipes and get louder mufflers. Yeah, that is unbelievably quiet. And you can't really tell what, like, the damage that happened. You know, I still need to slide it up a little bit, so all these marks on the header side you won't see. And I can smooth these out. Um, but once I slide it over, like, you can't see this side where it's all cut up. So that is as good as it gets. Now, I need to make some brackets or buy some brackets. I'd probably just make them since I'm going to order side pipes in the future. But, yeah, for the meantime, just got jack stands holding it up. Just can't drive it. All right, that's it for this video. I got some little stuff I need to do still, but I'm just going to do that off camera. And then I'll update you in the next one. Thank you for watching.